Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a new tutorial today. And today is for you who want to learn After Effects. Yes, they're basic, so you can be up and running. So I thought we can see if we can learn this in under seven minutes. So let's start the timer and jump into the tutorial. When you open up After Effects, you come to something they call the workspace. This is up built by different windows here, or panels as they say. You can choose from different workspaces. You can even create your own by moving around and resizing windows and so on. But uh, let's start with a new composition. You can start a new composition or create a new composition either here or you can go up here and create a new composition. You can uh, give it a name, you can uh, choose from different formats or you can create your own format. Uh, you can uh, set the frame rate, uh, you can set the duration and even a background color if you like. And then you press OK. Now do you activate all the panels here. Uh, the three most important is the project panel where you have all your assets as your compositions and media files that you import like pictures and videos and so on. And then do we have the composition window. Here can we see what we create. We can also create shapes and we can type text and so on. So here can we do a lot. And then do we have the timeline. Here do we add layers as text and shapes and so on and stack them over time as they're going to be shown. On the top here, so do we have the tools menu. The most common tools is the selection tool, the shape tool and the text tool. Each time you press a tool, so do you get some extra properties over here for that tool. But let's start to create our first shape here. So we go in and select the ellipse tool and we draw out a circle like so. So now that we have our first layer down here, we can then mark the layer and press enter to rename it. And we can uh, type C, so uh, we can name it C for circle. And now can we go up to the text tool and we can uh, begin to type. We can type mood. So now that we have our second layer here, so now we have two layers on top of each other. Let's add a third one. We can add a background. There are different ways you can import files. You can go up here and you can go to import file. Or you can just drag the picture in to your product folder. Like so. So now that we have the picture over here and we can drag it down. So now that we have three layers here. What you have to think of here is you have three layers and they are stacked on top of each other. So if you drag the picture on the top, so can't you see the other layers underneath? So you have to stack them in that order that you need to see them. Like so. We can do like so. We can lock this layer so we don't move that around. And we can go up and select the selection tool. And we can move around our other layers like so, so we can make them stay where we want them. We can also go up here and we can go to align like so. So we align this text to the center of our composition. And now can we go in and cut and move around our layers? If you want the text to appear at one second, so can you cut the layer? We can drag it like so. And we can do the same if we want um, the text to disappear after five seconds. So now that we have this animation, we can uh, press uh, the space bar to play. So after one second, does it appear? And after five seconds, so does it disappear? But we can also go another step here. We, we can animate this here. We can go down in this um, layer. And here do we have the transformation properties. We have um, Position, scale and rotation opacity. This is the most the common properties that you change when you're going to animate things. So we can do like so. Over here so do we have a um, stopwatch. This adds a keyframe. This is a position in the timeline where the text should be at this moment. If we then go forward here. So do we want the text to start from here? We want it to start from down here. So when it goes one second forward so does it move this position so let's try this animation now so press the space bar like so so now do we have this animation we can also do like so that we mark those two keyframes and right click and go to easy ease now does it do like so that it's easing the both start and end position to get a little bit smoother start and end of your animation we can also do so, we can add another, we can test the opacity. We want the opacity to be 100% at that position. And over here, so do we want it to be zero. So it's going to be invisible at that keyframe. 
like so. So now that we have this animation that animates in in this way. And now can we also do like so, we can go up to this layer. Now that can we add an effect to this layer. We can add glow, you can just type in glow. So do you get the glow effect? And we can drag this effect down to this layer. When you add an effect to a layer, so does this effect control window open? And here do we have all the settings for this effect. This can you tweak back and forth so it looks like you want it to look. And we can look at the, our animation right now. And this is what we have. So here have we done our first animation in After Effects. And now when we are done with our animation, so it's a time to export it. So we go up to File and to Export. The best way to export is to use the Adobe Media Encoder, but that's another software. So we save that to another tutorial. So we add it to the Render Queue. And here have you some settings we can set up. Here at Render Settings, do we set the quality that After Effects sends to a file? So here do we always want to have the best quality. The output module is the file format. So we can go into the customization. As we can see here, so it's not so much good to choose from. So we just use the default one here. Uh, we can resize this if we like. Uh, we can also crop it. And we can set up some uh, sound settings here. And then we just press OK. And then can we set where we want the file to be saved. And then we can just choose where and press save. Then can we press the render button to start the render. And when the render is done, so can we open up our file and press play. Then can we see our first animated movie. And we did make it under 7 minutes. Hopefully so you learned something here today so you can be up and running in After Effects. But there's so much more to learn. I have other tutorials you can watch so you can learn even more. Uh, there's other great creators out there, but I'm going to drop a link below to them so you can go watch their channels. Jake in Motion can be a good channel to watch because he has made a tutorial about almost every effect there is in After Effects. So go and watch that. But for now guys, it's time to say, over and out.